Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. But who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, board-certified criminal defense lawyer. Uh, today we're reacting to, uh, this is kind of old, but it's kind of fun to watch anyway. It, I've only seen little parts of this, so Lil Wayne had sued Quincy Jones over a documentary he was trying to prevent from coming out, and he took his deposition. We'll see how he reacts. But before we get to that, this episode is brought to you by eSign.com. eSign.com is an effective way to remotely do business. If you have a deal you're trying to cut or you're trying to do something quickly and you just don't have the time to get together with the other party, use eSign.com. You download the app, you get three free signatures a month, and it's just an effective way to remotely use, do business. I do it all the time with retainer agreements. You can do it with uh, power of attorney or any kind of business agreement or rental agreement. Anything you can think of where a signature is required, you can use it to, to e-sign and get things done much quicker and much more efficiently. It's an effective way to remotely do business. So now, to, so we're gonna, I, I haven't seen, I've only, I've seen in passing just one or two of these. So let me just let's take a look at, see what happens. Is that an interview that you actually gave with Katie Couric? Is that an interview that I actually gave with Katie Couric? Yeah. What's your name again? It, well, that, that's not the question. What's his name? Pete Ross. Huh? Pete Ross. Pete Ross. Yeah. That's a stupid ass question. You just saw me on there giving an interview with her. Oh. Guys like this are almost impossible to depose. And you can go through these machinations, they can be really frustrating. But if they don't answer the question, you can go to court and get a court order compelling them to answer the question. So I, I think we're going to get quite a bit of this as we get through this. But you, you don't have the right to not answer. And if you don't answer a question, you can get a ruling from the court that the jury can infer something negative You know that would have come out of your mouth. So that was you. Did you perform at the Virgin Mobile Music Fest in 2008 with Kanye West? I don't know, but I know I did perform at this badass bitch birthday party recently. She was crazy, stupid thick. Is now, what does that mean, stupid thick? I mean, first of all, it's not responsive to the question that it was asked, but it sounds like a party I would have liked to have been invited to. Something that you would remember if your album, The Carter Three, was the biggest selling album of the year in 2008? Isn't it something that I would remember that? Yes. Isn't that a personal opinion type question? Because no, that's why I got that. I mean, sounds like he's objecting on the grounds that it's uh, without foundation. I would be actually answering the question to, isn't it something? That's my question. Isn't it something that you would remember? Isn't it something? That's the question I have to answer, Your Honor. Go ahead. Isn't it something? You can do the best trying to answer it. Yeah, it's something out of your ass. That's my answer. It, it, yeah, it is something out okay. of your ass. Have you ever hired a photographer to photograph an event? Have I ever hired a photographer to photograph an event? Sorry, sir, no, I'm a superstar. People hire them themselves to photograph me. I'm a superstar. We don't hire them. Do you recall that any criminal act actions were pending against you at the end of 2008 i don't recall any do you recall that's a good answer because you didn't take the fifth and they can't really use that against you do you recall being at all concerned about any criminal actions that may have been pending against you at the end of 2008 i don't and think about that question do you recall being concerned no i wasn't concerned <laughs> did all kinds of criminal shit but i wasn't concerned and like he was answering the prior question, isn't it something? Isn't it something? Do you recall that in the summer of 2007, you were arrested in New York City following a performance at the Beacon Theater? I don't 
their car there. Do you recall that police in New York City discovered a 40 caliber pistol on you, on your person? I don't recall that either. Do you recall that in late 2009 you pleaded guilty to attempted criminal possession of a weapon? I don't recall that either. Here's the issue with too many I don't recalls. You don't recall pleading guilty? You don't recall being in court? Were you high when you were in court? The problem with saying that over and over again is because eventually it won't be true that he doesn't recall. And there might be some evidence that he does recall. And if there is, then you've got a situation where he's committing perjury. Did you uh, serve any time in jail following the end of 2009? I don't know. Didn't you serve about... Wouldn't you know if you did some jail time? And wouldn't there be records of it? So when you get these I don't knows and you're being uncooperative, it's going to bite you in the ass, especially when it's your lawsuit. Months at Rikers Island in 2010? I don't know. You'd know if you did some time at Rikers Island. and Give me a fucking break. Do you remember being arrested in or about January 2008 near Yuma, Arizona? No, I don't remember that. I don't remember that. I don't remember a damn thing. Do you remember being charged in early 2008 with possession of narcotics for sale, possession of dangerous drugs, misconduct involving weapons, and possession of drug paraphernalia? Sounds like another average weekend, and I don't remember it. No, I don't call that. Well, how, how much longer is this line of questioning going to go on? Not much longer. All right, go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't you win? I don't know. The award for best rap album of the year in two thousand eight for the Carter Three. I don't know. Uh, Mr. Carter, you have to wait until the uh, the attorney is finished a asking the question, please. I'm sorry, that's my psychic. I'm sorry. So How would you describe your image in the media? How would I describe my image in the media? Yes. I wouldn't describe it. So when, when you have somebody who's being very obstinate like this, what you do is you, you, know, you go through the questions that you have and, you, and all the answers. Then you take that transcript and you file it with the judge with a motion to compel. And the judge is going to be pissed off at him, and he's going to make him pay attorney's fees and other fees, um, you know, like court reporter, that kind of thing. And if he's not being forthcoming then, then, then he's going to sanction him. Well, how would you describe it if you had to? I don't have to. Well, what image are you portraying in the media? I don't portray anything. I am who I am, and you guys portray what you get. No, who are, who are you? Who is the real? I am Dwayne Michael Carter Jr. Okay. Do you uh, AKA like Wayne. to portray yourself as... I just answered that and said that I don't like to portray myself as nobody. Okay. I, See, if you look at the questions, the way he's asking them are, are really pretty inartful. It, it, I completely be Dwayne Michael Carter Jr. I don't portray myself as anything. An image is self-described. Well, you have to wait till I'm done with the question. I don't have to wait to anything, honestly. I I mean, this guy right here may tell me that I have to wait, but personally, I don't have to do nothing. nothing no rules apply. You know, judges do not like this kind of stuff. Because all it does is create more work for everybody else. Do you like you know to... Can save you, right? In the real world. That guy right there. You know he can't save you in the real world. What is that supposed to mean? He saved you in the real world. Just so you and know. What does that mean? I don't have to elaborate. Sounds like a threat, doesn't it? Is that That's your next question? Is please, that a, a threat against no, us? No, Mr. No, Mr. Can you just ask your next question, please? He can't save you. Why would he say that right in front of a judge? And what does that mean? I was talking to myself. So this is just a little snippet into Lil Wayne's our reaction to Lil Wayne um, doing his deposition in the lawsuit against Quincy Jones. And when you are trying to get something over the court, you can't be an obstructionist with the court. And so the judge can actually make him answer questions. And I don't really like the fact that he threatened him because it's, you know, on the old side, you can't, you know, give me a break. Come on, enough of that. So 
We'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers. Make sure you sign up for Patreon. Subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. And we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Bruce Rivers is broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. 23 hour lockdown, please is that my goal.